What's up guys, Mike from Figs here, and this is our new Mark Forge 3D printer. Now this is a printer I've been pretty uh, interested in a while, and have not seen any real usage data, so this is going to be kind of a, a vlog to kind of cover what it's like using this printer, and we kind of had a rough start with it, so, you know, our first print here, um, you know, honestly, it wasn't too bad. This is a taper stud that's laid sideways. Um, you know, so we're not going to get the best dimensional characteristics, but we were trying to, I guess, figure out where the um, castle nut cotter pin should be. And so I decided this would be a pretty good thing to print because we had a design change. Um, the uh, printer uses a, a G4 fiberglass bed so that's to keep it really level. Um, this print actually did have pretty good uh, print characteristics. There's always a little bit of snaggles on the entry point where the print head kind of trails off, leaves a little residue. And, you know, this actually didn't pull apart that cleanly. Um, but in the end, you know, this is nylon and fiberglass. This is the first material that we printed with because uh, we got a ton of it with our printer. So we want to use this up before we can actually start using the better material, which is the chopper carbon fiber and nylon matrix called Onyx. Uh, but that is the uh, machine stud that this was supposed to represent. Uh, again, this was just right out of the box after some calibration and uh, first thing we printed. Second, we tried to print the stud actually in the vertical orientation because that'll give us better resolution. And yeah, came in late night, had a jam. Uh, this was the fiberglass filament that just got jammed in the feed. It kind of looped over itself, you can see there. So it wasn't a big deal, it freed up the jam. Uh, that actually wasn't that big of a problem. With the printer but we did have some other issues kind of uh, later on we'll go into those here pretty soon resuming now a few things you'll notice uh, with this printer is that it does print this uh, it's like a registration column, so that's the piece to the left where on every layer it goes off and it prints this uh, kind of star-shaped pattern followed by a circle. Uh, then it returns back to the part, so actually not really sure what the intent of that is. Um, and then it'll go into the top right corner and do kind of a home relocation. So that's its method of sensing a dislocation or a print that, that needs to be aborted or paused. So it appears the resume was successful, but we'll see if it finishes out the print tonight. I actually think I already see an issue here, and that is that this structure is just not strong enough. You can actually see it shaking as the print head goes over it, so I think we just need to abort it. stopped working so we did have some issues with the printer failing uh, would just stop printing mid print uh, we were able to get this print to uh, complete this was a prototype idler pulley bracket for 2z supercharged trucks the TRD made um, and we printed this with fiberglass reinforcement so that it would actually be functional. Um, 
and uh, some interesting things here you can see that top thick line is actually a purge line you can optionally print a purge line to get rid of any nylon that might have water uh, infiltration in it so this part actually turned out pretty good it's really rigid it's got four or six layers of fiberglass I can't remember how much reinforcement um, however you know getting to this point we just had to deal with some common failures so failed prints it would get about this far and the print head would just stop responding um, great resolution everything else you know really happy with it just wish it would have kept running and so what we came down to was there was a damaged ribbon cable and a down rev controller uh, we did swap out the print head as I'm showing here but that ended up not resolving the issue um, so it was just a matter of getting an updated controller uh, it was obviously a different revision uh, than the one that we had uh, now granted this machine was a you know quote used machine however it had been upgraded to the latest hardware as part of an upgrade package so um, anyway this is uh, after the print head was installed this is kind of the boot up screen and so it's just kind of showing you again what it's like to use this printer uh, as if you were to buy one not just uh, some testimonial from somebody that got one to trial for a couple days or something like that um, so it boots up comes up with the ready screen and then you see the temperatures on the two print heads and so from here you can kind of navigate through the uh, various um, uh, there's utilities for loading fiber. Uh, again, one of the things that makes this so unique is that it's one of the only printers, I guess the only printer that can print continuous filament, fiberglass, Kevlar, carbon fiber, and now high temperature fiberglass. So we really wanted to get it to push its limits to see how we can uh, employ it to fabricate some parts that might be functional and actually usable in our automotive uh, design environment so uh, this is just uh, i was going back through just telling it yeah it's got the same spool of nylon in there already so no need to meter it out but anyway uh hope you enjoyed this video this is just the tip of the iceberg and we'll get into more details in later videos thanks for watching